To start, there are a handful of items you'll need to get a good foot scan. You'll need an iPhone 10 or higher or an iPad 2018 or later. Next, you'll need to download the Scandi app on your iPhone or iPad at www.scandi.co. Also, you'll need a second person to help with the scan. You'll also need a flat surface in a large room with the ability to limit the natural light. And last, you'll need a reference object such as a non-reflective book or folded piece of paper. Great, now that you have all the gear we need, we can start scanning. Have the scanny go barefoot with no socks. Place the scanny person in the middle of the room with enough room for a person to walk all the way around them. Place your reference object between the person's feet. Have the scanny stand with their feet straight, shoulder width distance apart, spread their toes and slightly raise their arches. Once you start scanning, they will need to stay as still as possible. Start your Scandi app on your Apple device. Press Create Scan. Click on the cube on the bottom left and change your bounding box to 0.7 meters. You can adjust this if the Scandi's feet are larger or smaller. Click on the dotted sphere and change your noise filter to 10%. If you have more natural light coming in, you can increase this number to 15 or 20%. If you have less natural light, you can decrease it to 5%. Click Done. Click on the paint palette. Select Monochrome. Click Done. Flip the phone to be facing the Scanny's feet. Have the phone straight on to the Scanny, approximately two feet away. Click the center circle to start your scan. Before circling the scanny, move the phone to the inside of both arches slowly. Now, slowly and patiently walk around the scanny while aiming the Apple device front camera directly at their feet. If you feel a vibration, slow down. If the vibration continues, move back to your previous scanning position until it stops. Work your way around the scanny until you're back to the front of the scanny. Click on the center circle again to finish the scan. Review your scan. Do you see any large holes in the feet? Do you see any large lines or shifts to the scan? If you do, you'll have to start the scan over. If the scan looks good, select Save 3D Scan. In your scan library, select the scan you just saved. Click the export box to the right of the preview button. Change the model scale to MM for millimeters and file type to OBJ. Scroll down and click export. Click on the mail app. Change the to to oliver at pre-valve.com. Change the subject to your first and last name at the beginning. Click the send arrow. You're done. Thanks for watching and feel free to send us an email if you have any questions.